front left tire leak right here corrosion so the tire needs to come off all right so since i gotta replace the valve the stem i need to remove the tire so obviously air the air out and also i thought i'd show you how to use this kind of machine all right i'm gonna break the bead now since there is no sensor air pressure sensor tpms sensor on this rim i don't need to worry about it so it's a it's a rubber stem but if that was the case then i would simply avoid so as i was saying i would simply avoid where is it this guy here being here like from here to here so keep it halfway away from this thing flip it now break the bead on the other side Same thing when you're flipped, you still want to avoid that TPMS sensor. Now I'm actually going to spray some soap and water. Lubrication is key to success. So this machine has three arms or two extra helping hands, helping arms. I'm gonna, I probably don't need to use the extra two or at least the one, like this one, uh, because it's a 205, 55, 16. 55 meaning the profile, that's pretty high, which means the higher the easier. But I'll use it anyway, just to show you. So first I'm gonna mark the tire where the stem is. I got no weights on top of the rim here, like these outside weights, so I don't need to take any off. If there was one, then uh, this would damage this part of the, this is actually plastic, so it doesn't scratch the rim, but you want to keep this away. I'm, I'll show you in a sec. So anyways, I'm gonna lubricate. Okay, so first, this arm. Okay, don't go all the way down. There's a plastic kind of a spacer here too, but you wanna avoid touching the rim. So about even a quarter is okay. Let me show you what I mean. So you see, so this part here, that's maybe an eighth, maybe three sixteenths. And then this part, that's actually a quarter away. Okay, now take this tool. Shove it back, I forgot to lock it. See it moved on me. So this is where you lock it. So it keeps this away. Now it won't move. Well, it will a little bit. This is still, this is a cheap machine. But I'm gonna, as I swing this over, I'm gonna push in here on the other side of the tire. So the, the, I think the bead of the tire will go down. Okay, now I gotta move you again. All right, so we have that going. Now holding this, pushing it, I'm gonna start it. Now I don't need this any, any, anymore. Again, this is gonna be, this is an easy tire. I'm gonna keep spinning it. Now watch this area here, okay? You see what I mean? So. If this was here, this right now, that bead of the tire would take that sensor out. So you, you know, even though the top of the tire is off the rim, 
I would still spin this and stop right there, you know, this area here. Now this arm comes into play. Just a, a helping hand. If it wasn't for this, I would have to take this guy here. I mean, it's, I'm sure it's doable. You know, swing it over. And then with one hand, keep this tire, this side of the tire up. But since I have an extra hand, I don't have to. That's doing it for me. Swing it over, arm no longer needed, make sure you, you want to move it away. Now again holding it, spin it again. There's actually something inside the tire I, I heard as I was, as I took it, oh it's a weight, okay, hmm, look at this. <laughs> nice. Bonus. So that was inside the tire. We don't need the tire now. It's gonna go right back on. So here's the replacement, a short valve stem. I'm gonna cut out the bottom. Here's the situation. It's actually not that bad. A little, oh look at this. Even though that's pretty clean, I'm still going to apply bead sealer or RTV, whatever you want, something just to be sure on the stem. And that is it for the valve stem. I'm going to lubricate the tire. Now we're going to use all the arms, but not not for the first part of the the bottom part of the tire so now just gonna go in like that and now we need to line up that line where's the line right here for balancing purposes so we don't have to balance it so line stem now our helping hand simply and we push it down here, this guy. Whoa. Gonna push it down here. And I don't need to hold it. But I'm not gonna do it with one, one spin. I need to remove this arm once it gets here. See so. Thanks, Mr. Compressor. Okay. So this arm keeps it down so the tire the B doesn't get on you know on the higher part of the rim because then it would be too wide the tire needs to be down away from this part of the rim 
all around. And this guy is making sure that, that the tire doesn't slip out uh, here. It, usually, it likes to kind of sometimes slip underneath the other part of the, this, this arm. And notice it's still away. It's, this thing is not touching the rim. So we're going to keep going. Now, more than halfway, we don't need this arm anymore. So lift that up and just simply keep going. And that's it. Check this out. Perfect. Alright, now it's really time to start taking care of those bushings.